सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू कर्नल पैनिक रिलेटेड एरर एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व देम सो एक्चुअली आई वाज ट्राइंग टू इंस्टॉल रेड हट लाइन एक्स इन साइड माई वर्चुअल बॉस सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट वाइल्ड आई एम ट्राइंग टू इंस्टॉल वर्चुअल बॉक्स इन साइड लाइक रेड हट लाइन एक्स इन साइड माई वर्चुअल बॉक्स नो आई फाउंड दैट एरर एक्चुअली ओके सो आई एम गिविंग द आई एम सेटिंग अप द रेड हट लाइन एक्स मशीन इन साइड माई वर्चुअल बॉक्स एंड यू विल सी आई विल गेट दैट एरर ओके सो रिमूव द फ्लॉपी ड्राइव मेक हार्ड डिस्क द फर्स्ट बुटेबल डिवाइस एंड सी डी एज ए सेकेंड बुटेबल डिवाइस चूज द आई सो फाइल फ्रॉम हियर दिस इज द ऑप्शन चूज द आई सो फाइल आई हैव सिलेक्टेड द आई सो फाइल एक्चुअली आई एम गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल रेड हेट आर एच एल फाइव सो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड दिस ओल्ड वर्जन आर एच एल फाइव एंड क्लिक ऑन चूज सो नाउ आई एम डॉन विद द सेटिंग जस्ट मेक ए नेटवर्क चेंजेस सो ब्रिज एडेप्टर क्लिक ऑन ओके एवरीथिंग डन लेट्स स्टार्ट द इंस्टॉलेसन so i am just started the installation i just click on start it's loading i'm just waiting what's going on okay so i'm going to i'm trying to install in the text mode linux text mode installation or cli mode installation so that's why i type linux text and press enter so it has started but suddenly i see this error you can see this error kernel panic not syncing Input output API C timer does not work. Okay, boot with API C debug. So what I did, I shut down the system. Okay, so let's learn how to fix it. Shut down the system, start it again. And while it's starting, you have to press the E key. Okay, like I just tried. So <coughs> I, you can see. So here in the boot time, I have to type this code. Remember this code. Okay. you don't have to simply boot if you try to simply boot it will not work so during boot you have to type this code remember this code so actually i'm trying to try like trying all these keys you can see f2 f1 f3 so actually i was trying so many things but uh, i found no solution here and that's why i tried a different one uh, like after so many try i know the code that will help so many problems so i use that code okay so i went to linux rescue mode and i try to fix it from there let's see what's happening see still i got the same error kernel panic not syncing it means i am not able to even enter the rescue mode then i decided one more trick okay and finally i will show you i will get the solution and how i will show you how i will fix this error so i was trying that and i was trying all the attempts no i was googling i was searching on internet i was trying to fix this error and for that reason i have just sit down and trying trying so many different techniques but this time i got this the actual technique which works okay so this is the real real technique real problem solution actually this technique has this error comes with the new uh, old operating system so you can see i have just type linux test then you know uh, no apic error is okay so i have to off that one and uh, that's why i type here no apic you can clearly see that and then no lapsi lapic and then i have off disable acpi so acpi off and just press enter and now i am able to install you can see that error has been moved and i have been successfully able to install but wait even i will be able to install again you find that uh, one error during the restart like after restart you get the error i will also show you how to fix that okay so first of all install it skip the installation cd because we don't need that installation cd so here i have started the installation our installation has been started so that trick works and i have successfully installed you now i have successfully started installing my red hat linux inside my virtual box you can see that just okay keyboard skip the installation number because we don't need the license number click on skip yes and then just 
create custom layout okay do the partition okay and go to the new partition click on new and then create a slash partition give it size so i have taken total 20 gb out of 20 gb i am giving 18 gb so i am going to assign 18 gb space to this slash root partition 18 gb is enough and then click on ok then click on ok yes ok just ok yes just ok you have to click here just ok so don't get confused just click on ok 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 yes i want to can enable ip version 4 so i just enable ip version 4 then ok then go to ok ok just have to do now you can select time zone according to your location so uh, i have i am from india so i have selected asia kolkata which is my time zone and now i am setting root password you know root is the admin user inside every linux machine so i type the password for my root and then i have started the installation so installation will begin now it will take uh, maximum two minutes if you have a core i5 latest generation or core i7 processor it will not take more than two minutes but if you have old laptops like core i3 and uh, core i3 or core i5 second generation third generation or up to six generation then it will take little more time like three to five minutes but if you are using latest generation laptop or pc it will take very less time even less than one less than a minute okay if you have enough ram so the installation has been started i'm just waiting so if you want to wait you can wait just one minute and it will take one minute to install but after installation there is a t uh, there is a no there is a twist because when you the installation will be complete the system will automatically ask you for a reboot okay but during reboot it will again you will fail you will find some error okay and i will also show you how to fix that kernel panic error after reboot also that will be the final one so just keep watching installation is going on uh, and if you don't know how to install red hat because i am not focusing here on the like uh, showing you how to install red hat i'm just showing you how to fix the error if the error is coming during the installation if you want to learn how to install red hat linux uh, during you know during inside the virtual box uh, i will give that video link in the i button you can watch there here my focus is if you get this error inside your virtual machine how you are going to fix them if you are using either you are using ubuntu you are using windows you are using any like meta exploit 2 huh? and that application inside virtual box you can fix all those errors using this single technique so after a lot of research lot of practice a uh, lot of like googling and all those things and i set up i finally found out the exact solution for this one and it works so i am doing it everything in front of you i don't want to skip anything so i want you guys to watch the video till end so that you don't need to ask me like okay so how it's happened what you have done about after this that's why i want you to see everything how i am fixing the error and what error is going to come after the installation so first of all during the installation the first attempt i have pass out that uh, i have shown you how to fix those error but after a uh, installation there was also an error will come and i will show you how to fix this error permanently so you will get a permanent solution of this error kernel panic error or no apic no timer not found this error will be completely fixed so whenever you are using either virtual box 6.1 or virtual box 7 it doesn't matter uh, either you are using macbook you are using like uh, any operating system you are going to get this kind of error inside your virtual box and if your virtual box is giving this kind of error you can use this technique to sort out or to solve the error okay and you can fix the error very easily say so you can easily say 75 percent 80 percent installation has been done so just few more seconds and the installation will be completed and then it will ask for a reboot and a new scenario happened after rebooting the system 
is waiting for me, the problem is waiting for us, so just wait. Okay. Uh, and uh, while waiting, if this video will help you, if, if this video will help you, then only you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay. And share with your friends, share with on your social media profile so that uh, many people get help with this technique, this video. Okay, guys, because it takes me a lot of time. Okay. And I, because I, a lot of people asking me about this problem. And finally, I have created this video. You can see the installation has been completed. It's asking for a reboot. And I just reboot the system. And see what happened when I rebooted the system for the first time. You can see. See the system getting rebooted. And I was waiting for the system to be on. And then you can see it get uh, stuck. The system get uh, stuck. Then guys, once the system get uh, stuck, I have no option left. So what I did, I close it. Okay, I close it or shut down it by just going the using the mouse at the top right corner. I close it. If you are using MacBook, you can go to the left left hand side top corner and you can close it. Close this virtual box and start it again just close it and start it again okay so when i tried i just waited few seconds that's i was just waiting that whether this linux machine is able to boot or not but it gets you can see this machine get stuck here so i have decided to skip to close this one okay so after some time i just waited so you can see it's asking press i to enter interactive startup i know that's okay uh, when you see this one right it, they are not going to like i waited for the pro approx two minutes here five minutes here and no moment nothing happened after this the operating system get uh, stuck here then what i did i simply close this linux machine and start it again so you guys you have to close when you see this line press i to enter interactive startup like your operating system get stuck simply close it okay you don't need to go do anything close it and it will ask you for shut down shut down it and then start it again so after shutting it down start it again and when the system will start i will show you what command to type so just wait right i was still waiting if something good happens to me and i was waiting for something good but it's not happening with me i was expecting that i don't have to do a lot of work and i praying that oh my god let me help so that i can fix this but nothing happens here that's why i have to close it finally okay and once i close this and i started it again again i started it what you did uh, what i did you know i just close it and i shut down it okay so i found okay it's not working i waited a long so much so long okay so what i did i just close it you can see i close it shut down and then i started it again <coughs> and while now here is the trick here is the trick okay guys here is the trick is going on when i started the system at the same time you have to press e key okay downside arrow key and then press e okay here you have to press e downside arrow key and then press e and then you edit the grub so you can see i go to the first line and i press e and edit and then i type the command here because i have to uh, disable the scpi okay no scpi so i just type the command to disable the apsc mode and i have disabled it from here so you have to remember watch carefully okay guys watch carefully you have to type the same command here and once you type this command just press enter and then go to the second line kernel line and press e again and then in this line press a space key after quit and then write this code remember you have to write the same code okay so that it will work and then i write this code and after writing this code see it will work let me type it first Okay, so SCPI off and press enter 
and then you can press B, B for boot and the system will boot and boom, it is working. See, I will be able to log in, just wait. The Linus machine is loading and it will like uh, I am feeling that it will certainly boot and I will successfully log in this time. So just wait and see how I am able to log in. And here it's going on, going on, system starting, everything is going on, so no problem, no problem at all. And just waiting for login panel. Y yes, this will come, setup agent, just go to exit. And from here you can see the login, login as a root and the password which you have assigned during the installation, I log in. And this is done. You can see who am I command I have run and it's showing a routine login. If you want to check the IP address, just type if config and you can see my IP address. If you want to clear the screen, simply type clear command. If you want to see the calendar, simply type cal command. If you want to see the any file like grub file, you can see the grub file where I made some entry in the kernel during the boot. And this working perfectly and we have successfully find the solution for this kernel panic error inside the virtual box. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I am going to shut down this machine using init 0. Thank you. Okay guys. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe if it helps you. Okay. And share with your friends or on social media platform. Uh, I want you guys to help this video because so many people getting this error and uh, this video will help them to find a easy solution for their problem. Thank you. Thank you once again for watching my video, watching my YouTube channel.